Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be playing in my Masterboard Glue Book again. I know I've been doing this a lot, but I'm having a lot of fun, so I want to do that. Plus, I wanted to use one of my new Happy Mail gifts, and that is this B pattern or agami paper. I will put that in the description box and in the pinned comments down below. So what I'm going to do is, let me just put that aside, is pick a couple of these. Now they're double-sided, which is awesome. Um, let's pick a few here. Okay, I like this one. Oh my gosh, these are all so cute. Okay, so I need to decide if I wanna go cutesy or more not cutesy. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm leaning towards not so cutesy today more I'm laying these out like right here I'm just gonna pick a few and then I'll come back and decide which ones I want um ooh, that's a good one too oh no I like this I'm seeing several different styles here and so I can do lots of different things so I'm kind of looking through to see so you have some that are super cutesy, some that are less, less cutesy, but still cutesy. And then, okay, so that's, let's see here. Oh, that's a good one too. Okay, that's a maybe. Well, hello, I have to do that. Ooh, I like that one too. Oh, and I love that one, and I love that one. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll do this one. Ooh, that's a good one too. Okay, ooh. That one's already cut up into sections, but I'll save that. Okay. Ooh, I like this one, I think, better than I like this one. Well, we'll see. Okay. Ooh, I like this one, too. <sighs> okay. Mm, it's hard to pick. Hard to pick. Okay. Ooh, that's a cute one. And I love this one, too. Okay, so. Ooh, it's going to be hard for me. So these are the ones that I've picked so far. Okay, so I definitely want to do the, this is a yes for sure. Let's put kind of the patterned ones over here and I'll pick those later. Um, this is a yes, I think. Um, this is a maybe. This is a yes. This might be a maybe, actually. I'll put this as a maybe. Those two I'm definitely doing. And to this one. Okay. Um, and then that's a pattern. That's a maybe. I want to add that into those. I might. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. And these are patterns. Okay. So maybe I'll stick with three. These three. And then three of these. Okay, so I think I'll go with this one. And this one. And, ooh, it's so hard to pick. Should I go with this? Or this? Um, I th think I'll go more with this. Okay. All right. So if I did this correctly in my brain, these will be my three patterned papers and these will be my three like image papers that I'll do. So I'll cut these up into various squares and rectangles and then I'll be right back and we will start gluing. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut my strips. So I took my six by six inch papers and I cut them in half and then half again. So I have three by three inch squares. And then the other piece that was three by six, I split down the middle and made one and a half by six inch strips. And then the other half of that, I cut in half and made one and a half by three inch strips. So those are the three sizes I have and I'm prepared to cut them down even more when I need to. Here's my little trimmer. 
All right, let's get started. I think I'll start with, um, let me just kind of spread these out a little bit. I think maybe I'll start with one of the B photos, maybe like this. Okay. Ooh, this, oh yeah, because it's double-sided. I can pick which side I like better. I'm going to go with this side. No, I'll go with this side. Okay. Oh, now it makes it hard. <laughs> I, I can pick which side has the better focal images on it based on how I cut it. So that's cool. Love that. All right. So we'll just put this here at the top. And I'm just using a sketchbook I got at... I think it was Marshall's or something like that. And it was like $4.99. But you can use anything you want. Um, normally when I do my, like my um, master boards, when I'm going to cut them up, I do I just do them on an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. So you can use whatever you want. Now this is my master board glue book. So I'm not cutting these up. I'm going to leave them whole. Um, how come this is three by three and this is supposed to be one and a half by three, but it's not reaching the three. <laughs> Either I cut it wrong or the paper's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay. Um, let's add a flowery. Ooh, I like this one. Let's see. I got the B right here and a B right there. Let's see on this side. There are like only one B. So I'll do this. Okay. Let's put that there. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody in Florida's doing okay. Okay, let me see here. I was actually thinking about doing one of these across here. Like that. That'll kind of cover up the, oh, I don't think I want that one though. Let me try, let's try this one. Let's see if I like this one better. Okay, I like this one better. So I'll go right across there like that. I'm like thoroughly obsessed with this glue book right now. Um, I get obsessed with all glue books, but cause I just love them. I think they're amazing. But this one has been lately the one that's on my mind all the time. I love it. I have to make sure if that's straight. I'm sorry. You know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. Okay. All right. And I'll trim that later. Okay. Over to this side. Maybe this piece. That works for me. It's so weird um, gluing with this thinner paper because when I was using the Tim Holtz wallpaper, it was thicker, and now this is really thin. I'm just using all different textures of paper and stuff in here. It's really fun. Okay, so we have that. Where's my tool? Why do I keep using my hand? Here we go. I need to clean this so I don't get black ink all over. Okay, Ooh, this is so fun. Okay, um, now I want to use, I haven't used this one yet. Which side? Which way does this go? I think it goes this. I don't think it matters because these flowers are going every which direction. So let's do, let's do this. I'm offsetting because I have a square here. So instead of putting a square here, I'll put it here and that kind of offsets. That's how I think when I'm doing this. I don't know if that helps you at all, but that's my process of how I'm doing this. I also always think ahead. I talk about this in every video when I'm doing these, but I'm always thinking ahead as to what I'm going to put down next. And I don't like to have two patterns right next to each other. Um, another thing I try and do like this one, I'll use either this next or this because I want to have a different size and shape of that. I feel like that makes it better. I don't know. Okay, so... I was going to add another long strip here. And so for my long strips, I have these four. <clears throat> so I would probably end up using, actually, why don't I use a short strip? Let's do that. Let's use a short strip. So I could do this because I have that way over there. Um, what do we have here? Okay. I think maybe that's what I'll go with. 
yeah okay and i only use six different designs for this you could absolutely use more i don't i mean normally i do i just pick six papers this time for some reason i don't know okay oh this is gonna be so pretty when it's done okay and then let's go here with this that would mean another square would need to go here and I could add, I will say having limited images here is making it a little bit more difficult for me, but I'm okay with that too. Let's put this here and then I'll put another piece going across here. I'll do this piece. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. Whew. All right. And we're gluing. Yeah. All right, so let's put this one across. Let's see, do I want, I think I'll go, well, I probably should go this way. That way I get both of those Bs. Yes, okay. Perfect, perfect. Okie dokie. There we go that across smooth it down this is just a tool I got at the Dollar Tree it's actually for spreading cake frosting if you would like to get one as well let's put this right here. oh I don't want to put that right there let's use um, well I don't think I've even used this one yet oh yeah I did right here let's use it right here I think I'll go this way yeah that's the right way. Okay. We'll do that. I love this one. I love six by six paper pads. For one, they're generally pretty inexpensive. And I love, I love that, um, I can just chop them up and make master boards with them so easily. Okay. Sorry. I was trying to think for a second what I was doing here. Let's put this all the way across the bottom. I want to balance out that black. So I'm going to do that really quickly here. I really haven't utilized my little strips. I've only used one. Oh, two. I've used two of them. Okay. Ah. Sometimes it's hard for me to see. Okay. I got it. All right. And then let's add, so I need to cut it right here. Let's cut that. Where's my nail mark? There it is. Okay. So it should go right here perfectly. Yep. Okie dokie artichokey. Oops. Okay. Let's utilize another skinny piece and use, um, haven't used a lot of this one or this one. Mm -hmm. It's going to go across here, but I don't think that'll be big enough. Okay, let's do, could do the square right here. Okay. Oops, I think this needs to go. There we go. Okay. So now we have that. Oops, got a glue bubble. Squish it down. Okay, so now I'm going to go trim this and I'll be right back and we can add the ephemera. So excited. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut up some ephemera. Um, all of these B images that I have here that I'm going to use came from Bridget's book, Cut and Collage. This was her first book she ever did. She has, 
I believe three now, one, two, three, I think, maybe four, but I think three. Um, and I've, all of these have been reviewed in my playlist of cut and collage books. So I'll link that one as well. And then I have some of my stickers. I cut out a couple paper flowers and then a couple paper butterflies. So let's get started gluing these down. I'm going to start with adding my little like leaves or whatever. So I think, which side is the sticky side on this? This side. Okay. So let's put that right there. I like a little bit to hang off the edge so that I can cut it off. You know, so it's nice and flush. Okay, so we have that one. And then I have this one. And I think maybe I'll put this one over here. A little lower. Okay. Oh, does it go this way? Oh, it does. It goes this way as well. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just go like this and it'll really reach out. Uh, I don't want to cut off the leaf, leaf, leaf. <laughs> I don't want to cut off the leaf. Okay, so let me just trim those little bits real quickly here. So, real quickly, real quick. I'm sorry, I'm going through a flare up right now. It's a pretty bad one, so my words get a little mixed up. I apologize. Oops. Okay, so next I'm kind of want to. I think I want. Okay, let me just kind of play with these. So these are my B images I have. I have this little teddy bear. I was thinking about putting him down here somewhere. And I have this kind of cluster thingy here. And I have a circle with bees. So could do something like that. I also have this little flower. Could put it right here. I have a bigger bee. I could put maybe right here. I have this little cluster. And I have this little flower. So maybe I do something kind of like that. Ah, and I have my stickers. I also have these flowers as well. So I could add like a, maybe a sunflower right here. And then put the bee. I don't know. I just need to, this is why I don't pre-plan my pages. I just need to play and put things down as I go. Okay. Here we go. Let's start with, I know for, for a fact, I wanna put this down at the bottom. So we'll start there. I feel like there's two people in, in the craft universe, the ones that plan out their layouts and the ones who go with the flow. I go with the flow because I feel like it's less stressful for me, which is kind of weird. You'd think the other way around would be better for me, but nope. This way is less stressful for me. Okay, so let's move these off. I did know I wanted to put, actually I could put this right here. Instead of way over here. Nah, let's just keep it over here. Okay. Starting to second guess myself. All right, put this right here. Oh, if you hear snoring, that would be my pug Sherman. Both the dogs are in here today. Yeah. Don't look too closely at my fussy cutting. I had a hard time. <laughs> Not only because my hands hurt, but because I didn't have my fussy cut scissors in here. And I didn't want to wake up my dogs who were being good and quiet to go out and grab them. If you are a pet owner, then you know what that's all about okay they're like toddlers you know if they're sleeping and being good don't wake them and ruin it you know what i mean all right so i kind of like this a little bit lower right here so let's put that there oh my gosh i could make like a thousand of these if i had a day to myself where I didn't have to work or take care of my dogs or my family or anything like that, I would sit here and make like a million of these. One of these days, I think I need to take like a trip for myself, like just go to a beach for a couple days and just play. And although I love being with my family, so that would feel weird. Okay, what else do I wanna add? I did really like this circle B situation. Which way does this go? I don't think it really matters per se. Um, I 
could put it more down here a little bit. Let's do that. I like that kind of staggering there. Okie dokie. How did I have this? Like, well, it's going like that now. Okay. Sorry, my eye is like really itchy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Love it. Okay. Um, and I have this B, which I could kind of put like this, like it's dripping down onto that. And then I have the flower, which I could also add. Ooh, right there might be kind of nice. Okay. I like both of those things. Um, I also have this big B, which actually I thought I might put right here and maybe I put this up here. No, mm. I do like that there. Um, I mean, I could put the big B. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys hear that? <laughs> Like really going to town. And then maybe this is what's bothering me. I could put that there. Maybe put this up here. Uh maybe this over here. Okay, I do like that. Did I want to add a flower? Could add one right here. I could add the pink too for a change of color. Let's cut this in half. Actually, hold on. Yes. Let's cut this in half ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's not quite half. I think this would be more like half. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is put this right here. Let's glue that first thought about it for half a second and moved on. Okay, so I'm gonna put that flower there. I'm gonna put this flower. Oh no, I cover the bee. I could put it right here. I did really wanna put it up here though. Uh, maybe I will just put it there then so I don't have to cover it. Doesn't really matter if I did, but I don't know kind of bothers me. So I'll put this there. That looks nice. Okay. Let's glue this down. Ooh wee. This is fun. Oh my gosh. So fun. Go through your paper. See what you have. Come up with a fun little theme to make your own little master board like this. It's so fun. And like I said, you could use cardstock. You could use a spiral notebook. You could use a sketchbook. Could use a composition notebook. I just like um, sketchbooks because they're spiral bound and I feel like for gluing it's a lot easier. But that's just my my two cents on that. That's just what works for me. But absolutely do whatever you want. Okay. Love how that looks. Um, I also have a couple butterfly stickers. I have a pink butterfly could add that right there. Ooh, I do like that. Let's do it. Uh, there we go. Okay, love it. And then I could put one right here as well, or right here. That feels a little cluttery. Okay, I definitely wanted something more up here. I have this huge B, but you know what? I'm putting them there. I cut them out. I took all the time to do it. I'm putting them there. I'm doing it. Okay. Put them like this. He wants those flowers. Okay, I like that. I could add another butterfly sticker. Is that too cluttery? Do I even care? Do 
do I want to add half a sunflower right here? I kind of do. All right. And then, ooh, this one's a little smaller. Maybe I'll go with this. I was kind of thinking I could put it right here. And I could put this piece right here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's my master board and I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. All right. And this side. Oops. Ah, my finger's sticking to everything now. Ah, jeez. Okay. Yes. Love that. Okay. Perfect. Let's add some words because that's just how I like to roll. Believe in yourself. I like that. I'm going to put it right across here. Uh oh. I don't think that's straight. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll leave it. Okay. Believe in yourself. Everything has beauty. I want to add this too. Maybe I'll just put it right here. It's a little off, but I'm going to let it go. Choose to shine. And. How about look on the bright side? Look on the bright side. Put it right here. Look on the bright side. And I want one more right up here. And I'll put, how about not all who wander are lost? Not all who wander are lost. That seems really off. Eh, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, I love that. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, I have one last thing I want to do here. Okay, I also got this in my Happy Mail. It's a gold chrome marker. So that means it's very shiny. I will link this down in the description box as well. And the cool thing about this one is that it's double-sided. So I have the fine tip side, so you can see that, and the bigger side. Okay, so I am just going to grab this little piece of paper here and I'm gonna push this down, pump it a few times to get that ink down to the bottom. Okay, so it's finally ready. So here you can see it's very shiny. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to add a bunch of gold dots. Because I think that will be really pretty. And we'll just add a few here and there. It really shines up good with, or shines up, shows up good with the black. Okay, sorry, I'm a turn my paper sideways kind of chick. When I draw and stuff, everything's always to the side. All right, let's go back over here. And then I also have that fine side as well that I could write or something. Okay, and then I want to add a few more in here. I have to get a few down here as well. Here and here. All right, let's just do a few. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. I wish you guys could see it in person because it's very shiny. Okay, did I miss any spots? Let's add one here and here. Okay, I have to stop. I well, I. <laughs> I can't stop once I start. Okay, so here it is. Oops, there's some. Okay, I'm going to try and lift this up so you can, can you see all those? 
Look how shiny they are. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Thank you so much for that pen, Sarah. Oh my gosh. All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and craft with me and watch my video. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to drink your water. Just a reminder that tomorrow is Glue Crew Video Wednesday, so I will be back on Thursday on my channel. Tomorrow is a video just for Glue Crew members. So I will see you guys back on Thursday and Glue Crew, I will see you tomorrow. Bye friends.